Okay, so welcome back. Um, previously, we showed you how to develop what we show here, which is an animated graphics in your C-Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. This is what's called the Lisa Ju pattern, and it's animated graphics. And uh, what we're going to talk about in this video is something related, which is just static graphics showing how to draw what you see here in this application, which is text, lines, circles, ellipses, and all kinds of graphic shapes in your um, C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. Now, before we get into the code, it's really important that we understand some of the basic concepts that's used in uh, Visual Studio Windows Forms to draw text and shapes in your application. So as we did in the previous video, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start out with a picture box in our Windows Forms application, and we are going to place a bitmap in that picture box. The bitmap is going to be what's displayed. So there's two things. There's the picture box and the bitmap. And in order to do bitmaps, you're going to have to understand some basics about bitmaps and how they're laid out. Now, aside from bitmaps, uh, Windows Forms uses another class to actually do the drawing for the bitmap. So we've got a bitmap, and what we're going to do in our Windows Forms application is from that bitmap that we've already defined, we're going to use a from image method and generate what's called a graphics class object from that image. So if you're going to take the parameters of that bitmap, and create a graphics class object, and that's what we're going to use to do the drawing of the circles and the text and the lines and so on. What we draw in that graphics class is automatically mapped to the bitmap. So we're using this graphics class, all of its different methods, it's got many, many different methods for pens and brushes and drawing circles and lines and so on. It's automatically going to map to that bitmap. Once we're done with all of that drawing with our graphics, we're going to have to take that bitmap and we're going to have to send it to the picture box. So the basic flow is we generate a bitmap. It will go inside the picture box. We generate a graphics class. We do all our drawing and then we send that bitmap to the picture box. Now it's important with a bitmap we understand the basic layout. Um, bitmaps start if we're going to find a particular place on the bitmap, a pixel location. They're going to start from the upper left hand corner, which is at location 00. zero. So the X values go to the right, increasing X values, and then Y values go increasing down. So it starts at 00. zero. If we had a point out here, this might be at X over here is maybe 100 pixels over, and then Y is 50 pixels down. So the coordinates of this point might be 100 comma 50. In Windows Forms, you can generate what's called a point object or a point class. And that's a nice, easy way to define the location of a point in your graphic. And in this case, we would have a point with 100 comma 50. So all you have to do is feed it those values of the X and Y locations. And you can name this point as, say, start point. And instead of having to always refer to the X and Y values, for this point, we just say, hey, this is start point. Now, if we wanted to, for example, draw a line from this point to another point, we merely have to define the other point, the ending point, with its coordinates. And let's say it's 210 and 50. You can see the, the Y values are the same, but the X value increases. And that would be a point 210 comma 50. And we would just tell our graphics pen object to draw that line from this point to this point. So it's pretty straightforward in how you can do that. So let's take a look at some of the code we can use to start drawing some object. So here we are in our C Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application. I've got my default form and all I've done is I've drag and dropped a picture box onto the form toolbox. Go down to picture box, drag and drop and you're all set. Now we hit F7 to get to the code, and here is what we've got so far. Um, basically, system drawing, using system drawing and the standard Windows Forms. And this is the only code I have to run this application. Let's start it up, and you can see what it draws is one line, a horizontal line. It draws some text, and it draws a circle with a thin blue line. Okay, and these are red. So let's go through and show you how to develop this. And again, there's 
many, many, many different options in Visual Studio Windows Forms in the graphics class for drawing things, but these are just some ideas to get you going. So we've got the standard initialized component, and what I'm doing here is I am setting the back color of the picture box to white. And here I am defining, we said we need to have a graphics class and a bitmap object, and here is where I'm defining those. First thing I'm doing is I am defining a bitmap, and I'm going to call it BMP, is a new bitmap, and all I'm feeding it is the width and height of the picture box. So it's a new bitmap with that width and that height. And I want this um, bitmap to fit exactly onto the picture box. You can modify if you don't, but this is going to fit exactly onto the picture box. Now I need to find a graphics object, and I'm going to call it graphic. Graphics, graphic is graphics from image. So I'm basically taking that bitmap we've defined with these dimensions and creating a graphics class called graphic from that bitmap object. So now we're going to be drawing using that graphic object and it's automatically going to map to the bitmap. And when we're all done, this is all the drawing we're going to do. We're going to say, okay, I've done all my drawing on that bitmap and I'm going to set the image of the picture box as that bitmap. And all of this other stuff is just using the graphics class to draw on that bitmap. So what we're going to do first is define two pins. You saw when we ran this, we had a red, thick red pin for the line, and we also had a blue pin for the thin circle. So here's where I'm defining those. I'm defining a new pin called red pin as a new pin. And I'm specifying color.red, that's a system color.red, and a thickness of 3. I'm defining a blue pen with color.blue and a width of 1, so that's a thinner line. Now I'm defining for the line a start point and an end point, as we talked about before. The x value is going to be at 50, the y value or the down value is going to be at 50, the end point for the line is going to be 150. We said before the x value is going to be longer. We're going to do a horizontal line, but the y value is going to be the same. So that's the start and end point for the line. I also want to define a font and a brush for drawing that text. So I'm going to call it label font. I'm going to define a font as a new font, and I'm going to say it's an Arial font with a size of 32, which is pretty large. And I'm also going to define the color of the brush that's used to draw that font. And I'm going to use solid brush. Again, there's many different types of brushes, but we're going to choose a solid brush. We're going to call it text brush, and that's a new solid brush with a color dot red. For the circle, we're going to define a start point and a width. And basically what we're doing is we're defining a rectangle with a start point that's going to start drawing the rectangle and it's going to have a width. We're not going to specify the end point. We're going to define the width of the x and y values. Here's our rectangle start point. It's located at 250, 150. And we have another point, which is the rectangle end point, but this is actually giving us the length of the x and y sides of that rectangle. And since the length is 150 in both, we know it's going to be a square rectangle. And we're going to use that rectangle to draw an ellipse. And since it's equal sides, the ellipse is actually going to be a circle. So we're going to define a size of that rectangle by taking that rectangle endpoint and defining a new size. And we're going to call it rectangle size. Is a new size with rectangle endpoint as the size. So it's taking that point and converting that to a size with dimensions, x and y dimensions. And then we can feed that into the rectangle. We're going to say, okay, start at the start point. Start drawing at the start point, 250, 150, and use that size, which we converted from that point. It's now a size, which is giving us the x and y dimensions of that rectangle, and define that rectangle. So now we can draw our line using this red pen. We do graphic.drawLine using the red pen. And we define a start point and an end point, which we already defined up here. We're also going to draw the circle, which we're going to use draw ellipse with the blue pen. And we're going to use that rectangle that we defined. And it has a start point of 250 and 150, 
and a dimension of 150 on both sides. So it's going to draw the ellipse. And then finally, we're going to draw the string. And we're going to say the string we want to draw is this is some text. And we're going to use that label font we defined. We're going to use the text brush that we defined. And we're going to say start it at the start point. So the upper left corner of the text is going to start at the same point that the line starts at. And then finally, we've done all the drawing. We're going to say picture box one dot image is bitmap. So we can run it and we can see the line starts here and the T in this, the upper left corner of the T is at the same point as that line start point. And that's drawing the text. And then the ellipse is actually a circle because it has X and Y dimensions of 150, the rectangle that it used. And it's down at uh, over at 250 and down at 150. So that's just an idea about how you can do some simple drawing. Again, you have to have a bitmap. You got a graphics class. Now, there's many, many other things you can do. You can have real time drawing. We might show that in a future video where you use mouse click events to actually draw in real time. Um, there's many, many other shapes and brushes that you can use, but we'll save that for another time. Anyway, that's it for this one. If you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.